In this lecture we will discuss enamine, formation, properties, and reactivity. Aldehydes and ketones on reaction with primary amine give imines. Imines have CN double bond and are called nitrogen analogs of aldehydes and ketones. However, aldehydes and ketones on treatment with secondary amines result in the formation of enamine. Enamines are compounds in which nitrogen lone pair electrons is in resonance with adjacent C-C double bond. Consider this enamine. The nitrogen lone pair is in resonance with the carbon-carbon double bond. The mechanism of enamine formation is similar to imine formation except the last step of deprotonating iminium salt. For example, we have seen aldehydes or ketones in the presence of acid catalyst react with primary amine via five reaction steps to form iminium salt. This iminium salt is then deprotonated at nitrogen to form imine. However, when the same aldehyde or ketone is treated with secondary amine in the presence of acid, similar steps operate to form the aminium salt. This aminium salt doesn't have any hydrogen. Therefore, base deprotonates the alpha carbon to balance the positive charge on nitrogen to form an amine. Notice that first five steps in the mechanism of imine and inamine formation are same to form aminium salt. The sixth step of deprotonation at nitrogen or at alpha carbon gives imine or inamine respectively. Consider this practice problem, 3-pentanone on acid catalyzed treatment with diethylamine. This is simple acid catalyzed treatment with secondary amine. Through various steps of protonation, addition, deprotonation, protonation, elimination, it will form aminium salt. The aminium salt has no hydrogen attached to nitrogen, therefore, base will deprotonate alpha carbon to form an amine. This deprotonation can occur on either of the two alpha carbons and will lead to the formation of same enamine. The deprotonating species can be conjugate base of acid used or secondary amine. Consider this reaction. The acid catalyzed treatment of cyclopentanone with dimethylamine will first form aminium salt with elimination of water. The aminium salt is then deprotonated by base at alpha carbon to form an amine. The deprotonation can be achieved by bisulfate ion or amine. Similarly here, cyclopentanone on acid catalyzed treatment with dicyclohexylamine forms aminium salt. This is then deprotonated at alpha carbon to form an amine. Now let us predict the major product for each of the intramolecular enamine formation reactions. In this case, the carbonyl group and the amino group are tethered to each other in the same molecule. To locate the bonds formed and broken, let us assign the numbers to the carbons. Starting from carbonyl carbon is C1, then C2, C3, and C4, which is attached to nitrogen. In the presence of acid catalyst, the reaction occurs in an intramolecular fashion, forming a five membered ring, four carbon atoms and one nitrogen atom. The carbon atom of the carbonyl group ends up being connected to the nitrogen atom with a single bond. We can locate the carbons with assigned numbers. C1 is attached to tertiary butyl group, nitrogen to methyl group. C1 attains double bond with nitrogen after loss of water molecule, forming aminium salt, with positive charge on nitrogen. To balance the positive charge on nitrogen a proton is lost from alpha carbon to form a pi bond between C1 and C2. This is an amine product. Similarly in this case, 
the carbonyl group and the amino group are tethered to each other in the same molecule and therefore, the reaction occurs in an intramolecular fashion. The carbons can be traced by assigning numbers like this starting from carbonyl carbon as C1, C2, C3, and C4 which is attached to nitrogen. The acid catalyzed treatment of this molecule forms a five-membered ring for carbon atoms and one nitrogen atom. The carbon atom of the carbonyl group ends up being connected to the nitrogen atom with a double bond after loss of water. This gives a minium ion with a positive charge on nitrogen. This is balanced by abstraction of proton from alpha carbon giving double bond between C1 and C2, hence forming the enamine product. Let us discuss hydrolysis of enamine with aqueous acid. Consider this enamine, the nitrogen lone pair is in resonance with CC double bond. This part comes from secondary amine and this part from ketone. To find the hydrolysis products, break the C and bond. This gives these species. Then restore hydrogen on nitrogen. This gives dimethylamine. Then remove CC double bond and restore C double bond oxygen. This gives cyclopentanone. Thus hydrolysis of enamine is same as that of imine hydrolysis. The steps will be PAD PD. Now let us try to identify the reactants that would be used to make these enamines. First we will identify the nitrogen and the carbon bonded to each other. Take this first case. This part comes from ketone and this part comes from secondary amine. To find the reactants, break the C and bond. Remove the CC double bond and restore the CO double bond. This gives cyclohexanone. Restoring the hydrogen on nitrogen gives pyrrolidine. Thus these reactants cyclohexanone and pyrrolidine in the presence of acid form this enamine. Similarly in this case, this nitrogen is from secondary amine and this carbon from carbonyl group. To find the reactants, break the C and bond. Restoring hydrogen on nitrogen and carbonyl on the carbon gives piperidine and cyclopentanone. Thus these reactants in the presence of acid catalyst form this enamine. Similarly in this case we will first locate nitrogen and carbon bonded to each other. To find the reactants that form this enamine, break C and bond. Restore carbonyl on the carbon. Assign numbers starting from double bonded carbon to trace the carbons. Restore hydrogen on nitrogen. Nitrogen has methyl attached. C2 has methyl attached. Therefore, both ketone and amine group is present in the same molecule and will undergo intramolecular reaction in the presence of acid catalyst to form aminium salt. This loses a proton from alpha carbon to balance the positive charge on nitrogen to form this enamine. Let us now discuss geometry of the enamine. For that we must understand the hybridization of enamine nitrogen. Consider this enamine, this is neutral form and has another resonance form which is charged. This resonance is possible because of pi donation by nitrogen lone pair into alkene double bond. This pi donation and resonance is possible if nitrogen adopts sp2 hybridization leaving lone pair in unhybridized p orbital. Therefore nitrogen is flat and adopts a trigonal planar geometry. 
This can be understood by drawing unhybridized p orbitals on double bonded carbons and unhybridized p orbital on nitrogen with lone pair of electrons. Adopting an sp2 hybridization allows for maximum overlap between the p orbital of the nitrogen containing the lone pair with the pi orbitals of double bond. One of the most important things about enamine is the basicity of enamines. Generally speaking enamine nitrogens are the weaker bases than the corresponding amine nitrogens. Consider this enamine and its corresponding amine. The nitrogen of enamine is weaker base while that of amine is stronger base. The first reason for this is Delocalization of the nitrogen lone pair into the pi bond of the alkene renders it less available for donation, thereby lowering basicity at nitrogen. This pi donation is not possible in case of corresponding amine. The second reason is that double bond attached to the nitrogen in case of enamine acts as electron withdrawing group and hence lowers the basicity of nitrogen. Thus this double bond acts as electron withdrawing group and lowers basicity of nitrogen. Whereas the corresponding amine has an electron donating alkyl group attached. The interesting thing about enamines is that carbon is generally a stronger base than the nitrogen. This can be understood by treating enamine with D+. On treating enamine with D3O+, it is observed that deuterium attaches to carbon rather than nitrogen. The mechanism of this reaction is as simple as converting the enamine into the second best resonance form and then connecting that carbon with a proton. Protonation of the enamine nitrogen also occurs, but it is reversible. Thus due to lone pair donation by nitrogen into pi bond, carbon becomes more basic. In fact, enamines are a stronger base at carbon than the corresponding amine is at nitrogen. For example, protonation of this enamine on carbon forms this positively charged nitrogen intermediate. Whereas, the corresponding amine can be protonated at nitrogen to form this positively charged intermediate. In case of enamine, this intermediate is stabilized by delocalization of positive charge through resonance with double bond. Whereas, in case of amine, no delocalization of positive charge is possible, it is just a protonated nitrogen. Thus overall, an amine is stronger base than corresponding amine. To understand the concept further, let us rank the following, enol ether. An amine and alkene, in order of decreasing nucleophilicity. All three species act as pi nucleophiles. The attack of electrophile gives a carbocation intermediate. The better the substituent can donate electrons, the more stable will be the carbocation. Nitrogen is the best electron donor, alkoxy second best electron donor, followed by alkyl group, which can perform inductive donation only. Thus nucleophilicity order will be enamine first, enol ether second and alkene third. Thus to sum up, enamine nitrogen is less basic than the corresponding nitrogen of amine. Enamine beta carbon is more basic than its nitrogen due to pi donation of nitrogen lone pair into alkene pi bond. Overall, Enamines tend to be more basic than the corresponding amines due to the high basicity of beta carbon. In cases where conjugation, pi donation, is not possible between nitrogen lone pair and alkene double bond, then basicity is greatly diminished and it acts as a normal unconjugated alkene. Consider, for example, this bridgehead in amine. 
The beta carbon here is not basic, and this acts as a normal carbon carbon double bond. The reason for this is that lone pair on nitrogen is at bridgehead and points straight at right angles to the p orbital of alkene. No conjugation is possible. Therefore, beta carbon is not basic as in other enamines where conjugation is possible. Another important aspect is regioselectivity in enamine formation. When an unsymmetrical ketone is used, the tendency is for the less substituted enamine to be formed, that is Hoffman enamine. Consider this unsymmetrical ketone 2-methylcyclohexanone. Consider first the less substituted Hoffman enamine. We know that enamine nitrogen is sp2 hybridized. That means the attached alkyl groups and the pi bond will be in the same plane. With double bond on less substituted side, there will be no steric clash between alkyl groups on nitrogen and hydrogens on beta carbon. In case of more substituted Zaitsevin amine, the methyl groups and the pi bond will be in the same plane, so that there will be steric clash between alkyl groups on nitrogen and substituent methyl on beta carbon, a phenomenon known as allylic strain. This strain is avoided when the enamine forms at the less substituted position. Thus Hoffman enamine is major product and Zaitsev is the minor product, which is disfavored due to steric clash. Now the reactions of enamines. The first important reaction is alkylation at beta carbon. Now that we know enamines are nucleophilic, these must be reactive towards electrophiles. For example, when treated with alkyl halide, the SN2 reaction occurs at beta carbon due to pi donation by nitrogen, so that electrophile attaches at beta carbon, rendering nitrogen positively charged called an aminium intermediate. Aminium ion upon acidic hydrolysis removes nitrogen and restores carbonyl group. The water is added in the workup. In the absence of water, a new enamine will form but now on the less substituted side called Hoffman enamine. So the base will abstract proton from less substituted side to form Hoffman enamine. Enamines are also nucleophilic enough to perform conjugate additions, Michael additions, with alpha-beta unsaturated species such as this ketone below, methyl vinyl ketone. The pi donation by nitrogen lone pair directs the conjugate Michael type addition at beta carbon, forming a minium type intermediate. As with alkylation, the usual procedure is to just add aqueous acid after the reaction is complete resulting in hydrolysis of the enamine and formation of a new ketone. Here also in the absence of water, a new enamine, less substituted, will form from aminium ion. That means base will preferentially abstract proton from less substituted side to form Hoffman enamine. Since carbonyls are good electrophiles, enamines may be used in crossed aldol reactions as well. For example, this enamine on treatment with acetaldehyde undergoes aldol type reaction to form aminium intermediate, which can be subjected to acidic hydrolysis to form beta hydroxy ketone as product.